tell me is it whack up in the air Rappers scattered off the gear I can map him, get yeah, the air It's like a tracker, get distracted Send him back like in the mail Not a fraction of them real Catch him lacking, run the drill run. Running through the shit like a motherfucking day Hey guys, welcome to another vlog On this episode, we're finally making it out to Archfield Drift For the first time ever Um, drifting I have been there before when, and I went spectator And it looks like a crazy track Like, there's walls around almost the whole outside and at the time I had the 180 and I was just about to get into drifting and I was like, man, I'm not drifting the 180 here because I care about it too much. But now we've got the S13 and it's got bash bars on it and it's, I don't know, it's a drift car. So if something happens, it doesn't matter. But we are going to a beginner night so it shouldn't be anything too crazy. And yeah, hopefully pick up a few new skills. Zara is going to be driving as well. So that's always makes it way more fun. And yeah, come with us, check it out. Also guys, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you go down, just hit that subscribe button for us and stay tuned on all the videos. There's heaps coming up in the pipeline, some really exciting stuff. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so you can see. If you like this video, hit the like button and drop a comment below. Let's go! Alright, so we made it out to Archfield and fuck it's going off here, eh? Right? There's like, there's a shit ton of good drivers. And um, yeah, the cars are not in a good way, so um, yeah, I think they touched the walls a fair bit. But yeah, had a few goes and actually it's really tight, like there's not much room to muck around. So, but they've got a good layout like for beginners, so I'm going to go back out and have another go. Zara went in, she, she's not keen, eh? <laughs> it's um, yeah, you make a few mistakes and you're going to hit the wall, so yeah. We'll get some good footage for you now. Put some gay fries on. What are your thoughts? It's tight. <laughs> it's a tight track. Tight track, track yeah. And the cone, like, I feel like it'd be easier in the daytime with seeing all the cones, because if you look at it, yeah. they kind of look, there's no direction, like, you don't know where the cones are. What do you think I about the walls? Yeah, the walls come up quick. I didn't look at them. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty hectic. You gotta try and not look at the walls. If you look at it, you just like suck up like, your whole drift. And there's like so much going on as well. Yeah, yeah it's pretty chaotic. Like, they send people pretty fast, so they'll be on your toes. But yeah, Jacob's just getting his. Jacob's just getting his passenger van and he's gonna come passenger with me. So I was gonna film from the outside, so she'll get some cool footage.
enjoy that. That was awesome. <laughs> that was the track layout I should have done, but I kept going like the bloody, the like real far way. Like, yeah. Cut it back even further. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome, mate. Eh? Yeah. So good. You did really good. That changed your mood fast. Yeah. <laughs> The only sucky thing is the LS1, it gets really hot um, just idling. So by the time we get to the front of the line, the temperature is pretty warm. Oh, we're just sending it anyway, obviously, because <laughs> we always do. Full send. Full send. But um, I'm, I'll probably, Zara just suggested, why don't I like upgrade the cooling system? And uh, that's a pretty good idea. So I might put a decent radiator on it. I don't know it. if anyone can hear you through your muffle thing. They can hear me. <laughs> can hear me it's all good um i'm gonna put a decent radiator on this and some like really good fans as well maybe like a power radiator and a spell fan because it's just a pain in the ass when you're just always overheating and shit like it's not overheating but it's getting more hot than i'd like like it's at like 115 man this is the first time trying this um canon camera the g7x and things are beast eh like i love it I, def I definitely need to get one of these. Like it just focuses so well on that. Yeah. You just use that and be careful. This one? Yeah. You'll let me use your camera? Yeah, if you be careful. <laughs> I'm always careful. I've only dropped mine a couple of times. <laughs> So pretty cool, this is an Adam LZ's Evo and it looks real nice in person. And then here's the 180 that's like far out. And they've done, they've, this thing's comp today, like, fuck, how do you crack your water that bad? They've been pushing this thing, it's freaking awesome. Like, holy shit. I'm loving this camera though. This picks up so much shit in low light. And then this is Adam, oh buddy, this is Luke Fink's new um, drift car. It's a 370. It's pretty flash. Big mental. But it's going off here tonight. There's a heap of people out. Freaking awesome. I'll film you this time. I, I stuffed up. I, I was too far away and you couldn't see. That's okay. It's your vlog. Yeah, but you're the one that's doing all the sick drifting. Oh, that's why you can smell fuel. There's like a bit of fuel leaking down the back there. But it's all good. Send it. I'll be just here at the wall, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you. That's what you need to get in. <laughs> Here she comes. freaking awesome thing about this new place is I've got enough space just to leave the car on the trailer and then worry about it in the morning which is so good I love that and I'm not even that tired because it's like 30 minutes closer to us than QR so that's always nice to not having to drive as far which is sweet had such a good bloody time um, I linked the track once one really good time and like oh it felt so good and um, yeah, a couple of times I was having a problem where like I'd come out of, there was some really tight turns and I'd come out and then it felt like my tire was like coming off the rim a little bit. 
and then it come good again. I don't know if it was just me, but it felt a bit weird. And then it would like spit me all over the place. But uh, far out, I got so close to the wall one time, like just stupid fast. Cause like on that reverse layout, by the time you get to the last big bank, you're going pretty fast and yeah, whew, comes up on you quick. So that was pretty scary. But um, yeah, had a wicked time. Zara had a freaking awesome time. And yeah, we'll definitely be going back out there again, for sure. Hopefully at daytime so you can actually see something. Did you have a good time? It was so good, yeah. I didn't at the start. I was like, I can't do this, like, this yeah, you... trick. It's just not, I just can't do it. Yeah, the first layout was pretty scary. Because it's just like walls, you're like drifting out the wall. And then when it turned around, I looked, I was like, oh shit, they're changing it. And then you were like, have a go, and I was like, yeah, love it. Yeah. It was a wicked time. And um, Luke Fink and all the guys out there put on such a good event. Like those guys are awesome. Like they keep it flowing and like it's really laid back so you don't have to worry about all the crazy rules and stuff. But enough, there's enough rules there to make sure nothing bad will happen. And um, I just had to whack a muffler on the ex exhaust on the LS1 and then it was sweet as because they do have noise restrictions there. But yeah, so hopefully next time we can go at daytime so you can actually see something because that footage, like it sucks at night time. But this camera's awesome though. <laughs> Keen to use this camera more. Um, Zara's going to let me. So thanks for watching guys. Um, make sure if you like this video, you hit the like button. Um, drop a comment on what you... Drop a comment of... What the fuck are you going to drop a comment of? <laughs> Just drop a comment below. Um... And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that. See you guys on the next one.